RK in chat says, wait, apparently a trans got DM'd by Doc himself. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. This is a Twitter account. I know I'm not showing you two yet. Hold on. I just want to make sure there's nothing because Twitter can show stuff. <laughs> it's always the most homophobic, transphobic people who get caught in the DMs of trans workers. What did I tell you? Stupid mistakes man what did i tell you lena love says during that time in 2017 when he was cheating on his wife with not only me a trans worker but also other women and texting a minor he was exploiting me by making me give him cam shows with the promise of partnership after the cam show he went ahead and blocked me girl always guilty bro dr disrespect blocked okay just added you on Snap. Add me on Snapchat. Username blank. Miss you, Doc. Thanks for unfollowing stranger. Are you going to PAX East? Oh, oh, kinky text messages. Kinky text messages. Hold on. Daddy, you need to shout me out and spoil me. Thank you. You want to watch me, my explosive intro. The goddess must be worshipped from head to toe before you can explode. I want rewards. Hi, hon. How are you? Daddy. Okay, this is like... Should I let it go? Let it go. Spray it out. I need something. Yeah, I'll think of one soon. Overwhelmed packing for tomorrow. Not sure. Smooth black leather or latex. Feel like releasing one right now. I'm getting ready for sexy cosplay images. Photo shoot tomorrow. Well, well, well. Good luck. So it's kind of like small talk and a little bit of flirting. So it sounds like he's kind of a sugar daddy. I will try vid chat you soon. Heading to the gym. Got to Get fit, but don't be a stranger. Message me sometime. You gotta get some photos sent your way. I mean, I'm gripping now. Boom. Ew. Nice firm grips. Will I work out? Yum. Hey, do you wanna do you know anyone you're close with who could see they can see me twitch? Oh, see if my see um get me on Twitch partnership. So she's using him, he's using her. Wow, this is so gross. They are pretty locked down right now. He said I tried focusing on popular games and impact streamers and those games, unfortunately. Hope all is well, fun at work. I'm stuck with a cold, fuck me. I kind of stopped playing games and been doing it in real life. Giving it one month gets, let's see, gets me. If not, then I'll go back to games. LOL, just Alex from Partnership so hard. Interesting. So, okay, so they had like a, a definitely kind of like a traditional work situation where, and there's this like moral nuance to where if you have a customer who's married and especially a famous person, like what's her moral obligation here? And obviously she's using him, he's using her. So he's like maybe seeing if he can get her, you know, it feels very gross. I'm gonna be real. Both of them feel pretty gross to me, but also I'm not that surprised it happens. I don't wanna show you her Twitter in case there's nobody on it. Uh, I can show you this picture. So here's this, okay. So this is her, okay, this is her. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch back in case there's new. I don't want to get in trouble here. So musician, model, partner, streamer. Oh, it looks like she got her Twitch partnership. Okay, interesting. Yeah, she's definitely got like a specific vibe. She cosplays, does games. I'm going through her Twitter right now. Le Lena, Le Lena Love. Well, I'm not surprised. <sighs> Art cases, I wonder how many more people are going to about to come out. Well, apparently there's a lot. Rumor has it there's like up to nine people who have stories about Dr. Disrespect according to the internet. Who knows? It's a weird business being in a thing where being in a situation where there's like a exchange like this. But I'm not surprised he hit up a trans worker or a worker in general. I'm not surprised. He's a cheater and a lawyer. Beza says this man ain't got no values, bro. He ain't got no values. He's a mess. I'm not that surprised though, if I'm going to be real. The replies to the tweet are Nick Merck's about to be more upset over this than the doc being a president. For sure. Oh, oh. Here's a picture of them together. Met the handsome legend Dr. Disrespect at TwitchCon. This was her October 22nd, 2017. Well, you know, there you go. Not surprised. Interesting transphobia going down on a trans person. I mean, hey, Everyone's everyone's messaging I'm gripping now because that's what he said to her. Look, I'm not surprised. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why. Oh, I want to be lenient on people. I really want to meet people where they're at. I really want to give people a chance. But yo, the people that are the most outspoken and play this game, you can always tell there is a difference. I can, oh, what, how, what, how do you explain the difference between the person that's like, we need to protect children, but you know, that's because they have something in the, like some of the most disgusting men I know are the loudest about like treating women with dignity and children. And they're the most disgusting people I know who are happy to take advantage of people. Why is there, but you can tell, I'm telling you, you can always tell the difference between an outspoken person that's seriously invested in respecting people and a person like this. I'm telling you, there's something about, and you know what it is? It's, I think it's the anti-transphobe. When you're anti-LGBT, 
But see, no, 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 no. Because then I think about the male feminists and the male feminists have the same energy, but it's different. There's like a creepy energy to them where I'm like, you feel like you're a douchebag. Like in a way that I, you know what I'm saying? They say the right things, but you know they're fucked up. So the, the male feminists have the same energy as like the docs. How did he think this was not gonna come out? That's what I'm saying. What makes a man rise to power and prominence and do things like this? Why do politicians do this? Why do people who are famous end up doing this? Did Diddy really think no one was gonna tell eventually? Did Diddy really think no one was gonna see that videotape? Did Diddy really think? I think they do. I think they're so entitled and so arrogant. They literally think they're gonna get away with it. They literally think they're gonna get away with it. Is him, if his wife does not leave him, I'm going to be real. I'm going to think a little less than, less of her. Not that I know her. I have no idea what this woman looks like. Leave him. Girl, leave him. Take half his goddamn money and leave him. Snowfire said, who is Diddy? Girl, do not fuck with me today, chat. Do not fuck with me today. <laughs> He's a, that's who he is. Well, shit. What a, thank you, whoever wrote that in chat about this. It really is the homophobes and transphobes who just be all in that bro. This is like super weird. There's like a video where it says stalking and Dr. Disrespect when he was sitting behind me, how cute. Okay, well, that's super weird. This is 2016. And then her other picture was from 2017, right? She seems weird. She seems unhinged. So then here's a picture. Dis Dr. Disrespect cheated on his wife with a trans OF worker. Lena Love while asking for free cam shows in 2017. Yeah, she seems weird too, honestly. Yeah, she's definitely a clout chaser. Eh, I'm not surprised. So she's she's definitely a clout chaser and he's definitely a useless human being. So. Like humans truly are gonna human. This has been happening since forever. There's this idea some people feel like where when they meet a new person, regardless of gender, they almost have to like prove they're not a freak. But I think that's too cynical and negative for me. Instead, I tried to be optimistic, but realistic. But even I am too lenient on people. I'll be the first to admit it, girl. I really try to meet people where they're at, but I've been too goddamn lenient. And I always feel like I'm so critical. How the fuck am I being so lenient? But I'm really so lenient. And it's probably because I, I know humans justify things based off of culture and pressure and groupthink and we are animals. And a lot of the time people aren't given the options to be something different. But I feel like Dr. Disrespect has been given enough opportunity to be someone different and keeps choosing to be an asshole. He gets, just keeps choosing to be an asshole. Fishy says, I've been told by certain friends that I'm way too forgiving and lenient. I think it's okay to meet people where they're at without being lenient or too forgiving. I think that's the skill. I think the skill is how can I meet people where they're at without being too lenient? and without in encouraging them or making them feel entitled to the bad behavior. Fishy says, I try not to be too judgmental of people because I love to believe people can change and be better, but not in the potential, but not in a potential way, just in a sort of, I don't know, I tend to be good at telling which people have major character changes in a way that's more healthy versus those who don't. I've been pretty right about people I've known so far. Mm, I've been right and wrong. I have enough under my belt where I've been mostly right but I've also wondered why I've been wrong. That's what gets me is like, man, why was I wrong about that person? I wanna work on my skill for the rest of my life. I wanna make sure that I'm getting it right. Why have I been wrong sometimes? Why have I been right sometimes, you know? Yeah, from presidents to politicians to popes, everybody. We're just at that stage in humanity where we should know better, but we're working on it. And it's getting really just exhausting. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, da, 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 da.